obviously Rock Island, <laughs> but uh, I, I wanted to do the same thing I did with the Pumpernickel <clears throat> jacket with a very large pockets and I just dropped the shell. <laughs> Starting off with a bang, let me tell you. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by, I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video very much like the Pumpernickel series that we just concluded. I wanted to do the same thing with the Rock Island All Gens 12 gauge shotgun. Now I've already done a video doing a overview and a first impressions of this shotgun and the first hundred shells that I've put through it. I'll leave a card at the end of the video if you guys are interested in going back to check things out. But uh, I wanted to put another 400 rounds through this to see how well it would stand up to some abuse. Now, the first 100 rounds is going to be low brass birdshot stuff. And then as we go through, we will progressively add some high brass stuff and some magnum loads and so on and so forth. But initially, just wanted to get quantity, not quality, on the shells to uh, get it started off with and go from there. Uh, my question to you guys is, what is your favorite shotgun? Let me know down in, the so down in the comments down below. And in addition to that, are you enjoying this type of content? I would really like your guys' feedback on that to see if you would like for me to go ahead and continue. Got a couple more shotguns coming into the channel and I just wanted to see what you guys had to say about that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it. I uh, don't have my shell caddy this time, but I do have a jacket with very large pockets, and I just dropped the shell. <laughs> Starting off with a bang, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Let's see what we can do. been a second since I've shot so a lot of anticipation on those trigger pulls okay had a hang up there so we'll pick that up here in just a second Having some shells hang up there, so I was wanting to make sure that I was seeing these cycle correctly, so. All right, first 25 has gone through. Having some issues with it feeding, it is trying to uh, kind of kick that round out as it's chambering in. So we'll keep an eye on that. And that's why I'm pulling it down to watch it go through. So. As you can see right here, that's what it's trying to do. It is trying to feed that in at an angle. I've noticed that if I have the shotgun parallel to the ground, it's not doing that, but
All right, so what I'm starting to see is that uh, it's not liking the uh, feed charging or the fast charging, excuse me. Um, if I take my time and work that pump action, then it's doing just fine. Otherwise, it's trying to cant that shell as it's trying to feed, so. All right, there you have it. First, or I guess the second, 100 rounds through it, 100 shells through it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with the extractor. It seems as if the, uh, or not the extractor. Sorry, a little discombobulated here. I'm gonna have to take a look at the lifter on this to see if that is something that is causing an issue uh, because it is not allowing that shell to feed in uh, adequately each and every single time. So I'm gonna take a look at that and see what is going on with there. I'm gonna switch over to some uh, three inch shells next time to see if that changes anything and uh, just keep you guys updated from there. Uh, I'm kind of actually surprised that it's not running as well as I was expecting it to, dumping you know, shell after shell after shell. So we're just gonna continue to take a look at this and see what happens. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section down below. I thought this was going to run just as well as the pumpernickel, but we're already having issues. We'll keep an eye on that and see what happens. With that being said, if you guys haven't already considered subscribing to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that, especially if you like the content. Another great way to help the channel is to share it with your friends. And uh, obviously give me a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys think about this series that I'm doing for you guys. I really do appreciate everybody that has been watching. All of you who have subscribed to the channel have been with me over the years. I greatly appreciate that. And obviously we're gonna have a whole bunch of new cool stuff coming up here pretty soon. With all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you again for swinging by and checking things out. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye y'all.